Nearly 4 million Americans are bitten by dogs each year. And in today's Midday Fix, we're going to talk about how to protect yourself and your family. Amber Walker is the owner of Animal Intuitions Dog Training in Geneva. That's Thanks correct. for coming Thank in, you. Amber. You know, let's just start off. We see people, I, I have dogs, and, and you know, you see people come up and just yes. assume that yes. they can just grab the Absolutely. dog and pet it. They assume that if they see a dog on the street that it is a dog that they can go up and pet, and that's not always the case. Um, right. There are good, better, and best ways to uh, approach a dog that you would see on the street, and that's one thing we're going to talk about Well, today. let's let's show them. We'll step out of the Excellent. way here just a little bit. So you have three dogs here. We have three dogs here. Um, all three dogs are actually safe to be here. None of them sure. should bite us today. They're all They're very friendly. friendly. <laughs> but on the far end, if you can see, Erin um, has uh, a yellow ribbon on her leash. If you see that, that is a dog's in need of space. Do not approach the dog. That do not talk to the owner. Yes, right. that dog on that day, not a good dog to approach. But if the leash is clear and you see that owner, go ahead and ask that owner, is it okay to approach the dog? Laura and myself are going to approach the dogs and show you the best way to do it. Um, so you're going to ask the owner, Erin, is it okay if I if I pet your dog? Wonderful. So I'm going to actually go up there sideways, shoulder and hip facing the dog. I'm going to squat down. I'm giving Lola the opportunity to come to me. She might not want to say hello to me today, and she's very interested in her mom because her mom has some treats today. However, our dog in need of space is very interested in saying hello. So we know she's safe. We're going to pet her on the shoulder. We're going to pet her on the chest. She is going to know uh, that she is wanting to come up to me and I know that it's safe to pet her. So this is the best way to approach and pet dogs that you would see on the street, strangers, things like that. So not necessarily. A lot of people want to run up and just pet the dog right on their head. You suggest that yes. let them smell you first yep. and see who on you are. On the shoulder and the chest, that um, going over the heads, it's just, it's a rude, it's a rude gesture. Right, right. In the dog world. So you allow the dog to, first of all, get to know you. Yes, give them the option. You know. mm -hmm. Give them the option because you don't want to meet everybody on the sidewalk. They don't want to meet everybody either. Same, and so what are some other uh, suggestions you have for people what about trying to hug a dog oh we don't really want to hug a dog some dogs yes some dogs do enjoy being hugged most dogs do not love hugs and kisses um, my dog Headley is a perfect example of a dog that does not love the hugs and kisses um, and I don't know I know we we're gonna have some video I don't know you if do we have, have a that. video okay Excellent. we can roll that video now, um, maybe and I will see if that comes up and you can Perfect. talk about it. So yawning is a behavior that you will see in a dog when they are nervous. Uh, if uh, if they're not tired, they didn't just wake up and they're giving you a yawn, that's a dog that's going to be nervous. Watch for lip licking, ears back. Her nervous tail wag, not all wagging tails are dogs that are happy. A wagging tail can also be nervous. If you look at her ears, her eyes, her head is going back and forth, she's blinking a lot. And in just a moment, I believe she is going to do a displacement behavior. She's going to have a fake ear itch and she's going to get me off of her. Mm -hmm. That was her way to push me away. So these are signs that you can see in any dog, any age, any breed, any location. And this is a dog that is uncomfortable. So we want to be alert to those. And if, especially if it's your dog or Absolutely. you may have uh, neighbor kids run over yes. and want to play with the dog or little yes. babies or whatever. Watch for these signs in yes. your dog, the ears going yes. back, as you said, the, the, the scratching. Yes, yes, all of that is signs. And you are your dog's advocate. You're your dog's voice. So you have to speak up on your dog's behalf today's not a good day to pet my dog or exactly. come on up you know right bella's ready Let to have people you know better. to say you know what he doesn't like to be petted yes, or absolutely. or feel free or whatever yes. uh well, we we also wanted to show you good times to leave your dog alone okay but we're just about out of time oh, no, that's you no have, problem so if you'd like to get more information about yes. this amy has a wonderful facility it's called animal intuitions and the office is on um, Kisslinger Road in Geneva. Yes. And it's inside the Atrium Green Animal Hospital. And if you'd like more information, you can visit AITrainers.com. Yes. Or be sure and watch us here. If you missed the link, you can watch the segment again. Log on to our website, WGNTV.com slash midday. Thanks so much. Thank for you. Thank Wonderful you for tips. Us.